Today we're speed painting Isis from Ankh, Gods of Egypt. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm back with another Ankh Gods of Egypt God, and this is Isis, who's primed in Army Painters Matte White and also highlighted or base coated already, sorry, with Shining Silver. Reason for that is because we're going to be doing some speed paints and we're going to be doing speed paints over metallics, which is awesome. And we're also starting off without a speed paint. We're actually starting off with purple tone. Her skin tone was like a grayish, bluish purple color. I tried to mimic that as well as I could, so I, I tried a bunch of things beforehand. I had to repaint over with some white. Uh, anyway, so we're doing all of her skin kind of thing, even the, the feathers on her legs as uh, purple. So we're starting off with some cloud burst blue. This is again a speed paint, like I, should, I said at the beginning. Um, so this is going over that silver, shining silver, that metallic paint. And you're gonna notice, I'm, I'm to be honest, speed paints work a lot better over metallics than contrast paints. I find contrast paints, you really gotta dilute them or put like a wash to them, or a medium I should say, to really get the shine to keep coming through. Some of them are not so bad, but most of them, especially a blue, anyways, and this blood red, the sil it j they just shine. So instead of using all my metallic colors, like I could have used uh, the, the, the gemstone for all this, I could have used, I will use those later on for little details on certain parts of the miniature, but to avoid having to paint large areas with nice metallic paints, plus that's a lot of paint you're gonna use, you can do this trick. You can also use contrast paints if you want. I mean, there's no problem with that, but this is just speed paints on this one as well. So uh, you can see with the red here, we're going a whole bunch of details all around her shield. She has these tiny little spots. Uh, so now this is where we're gonna be giving that purple a bluish tint to it. So this is runic gray. It has a bit of blue to it as well, some gray to it. Uh, it wasn't doing too much what I wanted, but once I got to the skin on the arms and that, it did. you could see the blue a little bit more pop out. And on the legs, the feathers, it sort of gave it a bit more of a hue. It worked. Camo Cloak is our next speed paint. This is going on one little part of uh, her big spear, uh, as well as like these, the, all the little squares around on her shield. And I also forgot to show it on camera because I just forgot to do it. The, top part of her headrest is like this little tuff of something going on there. Anyways, Slaughter Red is our next one. We're putting this directly on the matte white now. This is for her um, belt, I guess. Uh, some of the robes that she has on. And this Slaughter Red becomes a little pink uh, on top of the white. So do be careful with that. It wasn't as dark as I wanted. Maybe I should have reversed it and used the Slaughter Red on the metallic and then the Blood Red on her uh, dressing. Moving on now to some Crusader skin. This is the first time I actually used this because I wanted to see what it did on the white. So I just used it a little bit on her, I guess, talons, uh, her feet. And uh, just to give it like a skin color underneath. That's why you can see I can use the blue on top. Now we're going to be doing a lot of the gold or fake gold with sand golem. So this is going to give a darker gold color. More of a brown, uh, earthy color to all the silver that's going to be looking like as if it was gold. So I could have used greedy gold or I could have used evil chrome or used anything else or bronze on this. I think this is more like a bronze, it's sort of goldish color. Anyways, you're pretty much going to put this on a lot of the areas, but most of it's going to be the next color, which is going to be really big on this miniature, the next golden color. But as you can see, and you can see it on the other colors, the shine is still coming through on those metallics or where I use that shining silver. This is amazing, like it's just great. All right, dark wood is the next speed paint we, while we're letting the other stuff dry. We're doing her hair now. She has this beautiful darkish brown hair. This dark wood is perfect on top of white. You can see the highlights. It gets nice and dark in the recesses. Uh, brings the white out a little bit more for popping the effect of the hair. Really nice, perfect. Zealot yellow. So this is the real yellow and this is the rest of the gold. And as you can see, you can compare it next to the, the sand golem. Now, there's not much difference. I'm sure you guys will be like, well, why'd you use that on everything? Well, I wanted a bit of a contrast, right? So you can see now that the it's brighter, it's more yellow, and the metallic comes through a little bit more even than the sand golem one. So you can put this on a lot of the areas that are left white. Um, 
some parts on this miniature again some of these miniatures from Ankh they, they have such nooks and crannies you got to get underneath and inside and there are probably spots that are still completely not even primed on this miniature actually and I just want to do a little something different on her I guess this is a scimitar or something or a scythe so I use plasmatic bolt um, it's almost like a greenish gray or greenish blue and it's really colored gemstone hey our actual metallic paint we're doing this on all these little dots that she has on her I guess this is her wings or like the part of the shield that her wings have we're also doing this on uh, some of the bracelets she has we're doing this on just some of the jewelry she has as well now we're finishing off with greedy gold why the greedy gold well this is just for the jewelry because what I didn't prepare that in silver first <laughs> and also it allows me to do all these lines I tried doing a dry brush of the gold on top but it started wiping off a bit of the speed paint which we know it reactivates sometimes uh, speed paint is meant to just put on and be done with it right not continue doing other stuff you're just supposed to it gives you everything you need so the greedy gold I'm just going over I can even touch up what was fun is that it actually kind of matched the zealot yellow all right, we're gonna be doing the base now, strong tone. Now, right before I did the base, I tried this new AK Interactive um, wet crackle effect. Boy, is it ever shiny. And so I just put on a little bit of uh, light earth on top of that, or desert, I don't remember if it was desert sand or light earth, and just putting some strong tone on that, that piece that was there. And there you go, folks, Isis, painted ready for the table. I hope you enjoy, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we're gonna see you all in the next one.